looking at finding domain and range and there's lots of different ways to do this depending on how the function is given and drawn or given an equation. So there's, this is a very broad topic. This is only one particular way to find it for a particular type of function presented a particular way. So basically here's a function drawn on the graph and I want to find its domain and range. Okay. So the domain are the x values or the allowable inputs and the range are the outputs. Okay. And we use x to represent the inputs, which comes from our x-axis. And we use y's to represent our range. So the first thing is notation. How do we write this? Um, so if I wanted to say, like, for example, between the numbers 1 and 5, okay? So if I was to write that in English, I would say, you know, between 1 and 5. Okay. Well. I need to be able to write that in, in mathematical notation. So we're going to use an inequality to do this. So the, the word between, if I put x, okay, and I was to write it like this. So x represents the number. So this says the x's are greater, okay, than this number and smaller than that number. So I would read as 1 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 5. All right. So remember, the bigger side goes, this open side goes to the large side. So you can see here, the x is bigger than the 1, but it's smaller than the 5. And that's basically how you write between. So we're going to use that to um, write our answers. Okay. All right, so let's go over to the function here. So here's the function. I've got to find the domain. So what I like to do is I like to list the points. Okay darker color here. So this looks like the coordinate point 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is negative 4, positive 7. Okay. And this point over here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 4. So there's my two points. So what I like to do here is kind of draw the box in. So basically, what I do is I find the highest points and I draw in a box here. Okay. The domain is basically this bottom line here, these x's that we use. So we go from, you can see here, we look at the x's, the smallest x is negative 4, and the biggest x is a 5, and we use everything in between there. Okay? So you would say between negative 4 and 5, because remember we're just looking at the x's, so don't look at the y's, and then I'm going to write that in notation. Okay? So. The, the, the domain is, is between the smallest x and the largest x. All right, let's look at the range. Now when I look at the range, I'm looking at this one right here, the up and down, right, the y values. And you can see here it goes from negative 4 to 7. Okay. So in this case, though, I'm going to put a y in there because we're talking about y's. All right, so you've, you're just looking at the biggest one to the smallest one. All right, let's look at another shape here, another function. Okay. So same thing, what is the domain, what is the range? So find your points, okay? And this is the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5, 1. Okay? And this is the point 1, 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's negative 2, 7. And this point over here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's point 7, 4. Okay. So if I want to find the domain, okay, I'm going to draw in a box around this. Fit. The whole function has to fit into the box. Okay. So basically, the domain is the smallest x to the biggest x. So we're not even going to, this negative 2 is in between these. If I just look at the x values, the ones in the front, it goes from negative 5 to 7, and all the numbers in between. Okay. 
Now for the range, I gotta look at the y. So the smallest y looks like positive one, and the biggest y is seven. If you look at the distance here, that's our range.